So, then, so I just switched it off, but I'll show you how to take it apart. Then sometimes you have to clean the fountain. So every two weeks maybe, depends how many cats and uh, drink from and uh, yeah, and your personal cleaning habits. I don't do it uh, not more not more than every two weeks. Good. So first lift the lid up, pour the water into remember this one is fixed. So so hold it with your hand on the other side. So pull the the uh, filter out, remove the pin, take these two parts, check if the filter is clean, this you should do more often. So in case you have a rechargeable battery and you have to recharge it, then disconnect it again. Use the second one already charged, then it takes approximately a day to charge these babies. Pull the new one in, connect it, put the lid on back on top, switch it on and good to go. So, and to change the filter, you can just lift the filter housing up, hold it here, hold the tubing here with, the, with your little finger, with your pinky, and then screw the lid up. Okay, now you have all this stuff in front of you. You can go in your bathroom and exchange it or kitchen or wherever you do it. Fill in a new one and you are good to go. Okay, so another word. So you have here six batteries inside. So you can exchange, so with six batteries, or let's say so, as more batteries you have in, as stronger the flow is. So with four batteries, you have seen how strong the flow is. So let's put it, oops, let's put it, put it back together to demonstrate. Okay. So about this time, we get the cable out, so connect it again. back on. So, now let's connect it. Switch it on. To the right direction. Okay, so, good. So, this This is a flow with four batteries. So we can exchange one battery with this uh, copper tube. And then you see, it's not as strong anymore. 
So let's go back. Let's put the battery back in and waste water. So you can save battery by just using three with this uh, using three or you can use this uh, USB. USB has five volt, four batteries, four batteries are six volt, three batteries are 4.5 volt, it's 1.5 each and the USB has always five volt. So let's connect it and this is with a USB. So instead of the USB, as I told you, we can use also the wall power plug. So let's plug it in. Let's connect it. So the setting is now 4.5. So it's approximately the same like for batteries. And now we can switch it on. 6, 7.5, 9, 12, wouldn't do it. First of all, as high as the voltage is, as uh, more the pump has to work, and so it stresses the life and it shortens the lifetime. So this is nice. So this is 5 volt, 6 volt, so around this. Even 4.5 is enough. If you have yeah, skitty cats, then it might be better to have a smaller stream than a stronger one because they might be get scared with a strong stream so and they might feel more comfy with a just a bit of a platform. So you hear the sound of the back falling water. So when you use the pre-filter it's gone. So the pre-filter not only catches debris, it also uh, directs the water flow so that it goes smoother down into the, into the bowl, doesn't hit the surface of the water so hard and therefore you have less or no, no noise. Again, and gone. And as you can hear, you don't hear the pump. Good. So this fountain with the internal battery runs either with a wall power adapter, a D cell with three or four batteries, or USB power packs. There is a Emuto, the ref power. The anchor, it's uh, E7, Astro E7, or the GTJ, I have some more batteries tested, but it runs approximately five days with one of those, approximately a week with one of those, and with 
two rough powers or no this with two emutos. Emuto is a bit stronger than this one. You feel it. The weight is different. And the weight is a nice indicator of the amount of batteries you will find inside. And with two of the with two of the rough power of the emutos it will run approximately ten days. Good. Thank you.